Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Welcome back to another movie review. And um, like I said, now we're now we've entered in October. Now, now it's back to uh, reviewing um, horror and science fiction films. And I thought I, guess, I thought I'd start off um, for this time um, reviewing a, 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 very, a very old film, a film from from the from a uh, from the fifties, made in 1958. And I don't own this on DVD, so but I might like to get I still have to get one uh, like one day though. But this is one I have on I own on VHS though. And that is this is it, the terror from beyond space. Like I said, it's made made in nineteen fifty eight. It's a black, of course, it's black and white, you know. And and this is and this is why I I, I um another uh, um a classic um, monster film that I also that I grew up watching. This is one. Um, with me and my dad, you know, and and he still he he still watches this, and I still watch it, you know, and and I and I and I always and I always uh, growing up, I always enjoyed this this uh, classic here. Um, and really enough, um, this this film right here, this was um, for um, this was an inspiration for um screenwriter David O David uh, D um Dan Dan O'Bannon, who did who did the screenplay for um Ridley Scott's Alien. This was this this became the inspir this film became the inspiration for for him on working for Alien. So so basically it's like it's like without this film then there wasn't there would not have been um, Alien you know basically. So yeah this because you know the the because you know the the, the premise or idea or I, the idea of a have a dangerous alien inside your ship you know yeah I guess that get that gave him the idea to. For for the idea for Alien, you know, so so okay, that's one. So I think that's a cool idea, you know. I mean, especially I love Alien, you know. It's, a, it's always been a classic film from the, from the late seventies. But um, and the film um, on the rating uh, has a six point one nine dB and on Rotten Tomatoes has a sixty seven percent. Decent enough though, but I think they both could be higher, you know. But and this film is not, it isn't this film isn't the, this long of a film at all. It's just like an hour and eight or nine minutes, you know, and it's not that long with film, you know, so, um, and the film, and it, and it looks like some, uh, critic, uh, critic, uh, critic, like, did, like, um, Citizen News, Citizen back here, you know, an excellent science fiction thriller, or, um, or the same, same, uh, same, uh, site, or critic, whatever, he calls it, a f uh, fraught with suspense, with suspense and excitement, so, so uh, at uh, the time it got 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 praise, you know. I guess if you say that, and I still said I always enjoyed it, you know. So basically, it, so it opens up. So the film opens up like I guess it says it said in the future. So it's uh, like nineteen seventy three in the future, and a spaceship is already on Mars, you know, and where this 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 is a uh, crew here, a space crew. They came to pick up a. They they went to Mars to pick up a, a lone survivor. Of another alien, of another um, space crew that has died there, you know, by the by the name of Colonel Carruthers, you know, he's the only survivor of the first uh, space crew, and all the crew are dead, you know, and the crew they suspected they he's he's killed all the crew, you know, but but as but but as they lifted off before they lifted off from space, you know, um, they 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 picked up. What do you say? A very dangerous passenger along the way, you know. This here, this alien, is it called it? Has has snuck on a board and as the ship lift off, you know, lift off from Mars. And and it's a pretty pretty it's a it's a very straight uh straight to the point I uh story, you know. You know, went to pick up a guy who's who whose first crew was on was with the first crew on Mars, you know, they pick him up and then the thing snuck up, snuck aboard, you know, and they, 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 they try and stop it, you know. That's basically that's it, you know. But like, I'll just keep on going. Um, like uh, one of the first crew members, um, hears a noise down below. He goes and investigates, and of course, it was the with the with the kills, you know, it's from the from the from the time, you know, you don't you don't immediately see the guy again, like. Brutally murder or anything. You saw the monster's shadow up against a wall, and you see him just clawing like this. You know, basically that's him killing killing a person. You know, 
well, yeah, so like a first versus the first guy, so you see in the shadow of the guy, of the, of the creature, I guess a wall, you see him lift the guy up and then just throws him down and just do that, you know. And there's all the crew, uh, one, uh, Crowlers heard a noise and it thinks he's, like, hearing stuff from Mars all over again, you know, and, well, before that he says, I didn't kill anyone, you know, he's, there was something on, there was something on Mars that did, you know. Um, so they kept calling the, the, the person that was killed, uh, to come up, to come up on deck, you know, and no answer. So everyone searches the ship, you know. And another crew member, another crew member, um, he stops looking like, for a pack of cigarettes, and he gets attacked off off screen, basically, you know. And then when they go back, they go back down and search for him. They find the first, they find the first guy um, stuck up in a vent, and he falls down, and and. One crew member goes inside, um, in, inside another vent, you know, to search for the second person, and he, he finds him in there, and he's like, his face is like all, like all, well, not scars, though, but like has like black around his eyes, and his face like all, I wouldn't say wrinkle, I can't tell though, but he yeah, has like a sick, has like when you're feeling sick, you know, like a pale look on his face, you know, and the guy, the, the guy gets attacked, you know, gets like a scratch on like on his head, you know. Gets, but he gets out of there, but they leave the guy inside, though. So, the, the, seal, the seal is shut, you know, and the, um, Carruthers gets the idea to put grenades on the on the vents, you know. And and so, when they, when the, they, hear, they hear on the intercom, you know, they hear the explosions, you know, but it doesn't kill, doesn't kill the thing, you know. It just makes him, just gets him more angry, you know. Um, as it was a good down there, he get, um grabs one of the men's uh, large rifles and just bends it, bends it in half, you know. Guns don't, bullets don't stop him, grenades don't stop him, and then they try to get, throw some gas grenades, doesn't do anything, and, and it grabs a hold of another one of the um, crew and scrap, tears the guy's uh, boot, you know, tears through the guy's boot and clawing at it and severely injures that guy, you know. And which of the two guys that got attacked, and one got the injury on his head and the other guy um with the foot you know it's like um this is not starting not feeling well it's like a, say it's like a, a like a bacteria like a uh, a virus you know what the creature had on uh, had on mars you know so but so the one then um let's see what happens um they they try they try another attempt to kill it's where the two where the main character uh, Carruthers and another guy named Jim they uh, go with they do a spacewalk on the uh, walk in on on the spaceship to go go uh, a level down below the creature they they rig the staircase you know so it comes down and try to get electrocuted doesn't work either and the character uh, the, the guy uh, Jim gets his foot caught so he, when he gets attacked and gets his foot broken and he uses the blowtorch you know to, for to protect himself with you know he's like in a tight space you know and he uses a blowtorch to protect him you know so, but then the guy Crothers, he gets he he gets away and goes back up, you know. Well, they talk to the guy through the inter intercom, you know. Um. So, but 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 they they have no more uh, drugs uh, uh, where they are, you know, to, for the two for the two injured guys. So they need to get some fresh blood, you know, and which is down uh, a couple decks below. So to get to get them um, to get the blood, and another and then when another character. I think it was a, by the name of Bob, you know, tend to go down there to get uh, Jim out of there, you know, while, um, because uh, the creature went to the reactor room, and the other, another, uh, the guy with the injured foot by the name of Van, he, um, activates the, uh, opens up the reactor, you know, try to kill it, you know, and it bursts, bursts through the door, you know, and it attacked the, the guy, uh, Bob, you know, and like I said, um, we see, you see the, just the creature, the sh creature's shadow against the wall just calling on like doing that, you know, killing him, you know. Whereas, well, because it, of course, it's not, it's not that, it's not that, you know, from from the night, from the from, especially from the old days, you know, they don't, they don't get gruesome deaths like they did, like are today, you know. It's just like, you know, just use your imagination of what you think he's using, you know, do just clawing at him, you know. So, you know, it's from the nineteen fifties, you know. Just uh, supposed to at the time like doing that, like supposed to be like suspenseful, you know. Which I which I do get, you know. So I I can let I can let that pass, you know. It's an old film, you know. It's not like today where the the deaths are really gruesome and violent, you know. So, so that guy, so that guy Bob gets killed, and 
the guy, Jim, went back to that same place with a blowtorch. Well, the, well, the other two guys, um, Crothers and Royce, got the blood. So they all all retreat all to the very tip top of the ship, the controller room. You know, they start putting stuff on top of the hatches. You know, for you know as a, as a barricade. You know, and and then then Jim tell like the other guy Jim finally tells how the creature got aboard because that it followed it followed them. You know, when they picked the the guy up. You know, and it climbed up one of the kind of one of the vents just before they lift off. You know, because we already know we already I already knew that. You know. So well, now um, the creature goes starts going all the way to the to the top of the ship, you know. While Jim told well, Carlos told Jim to get in the airlock and hide there, you know. And then they notice that the the pre the oxygen level has been like pretty. I think was it like I think it was it with like even a low or high, you know. So they got the so they got the idea to um, let all the air out of the ship because they said that the creature had must has enormous lungs, you know big breathing lungs, you know, so they, so they put on their suits on, and as the creature bursts through, you know, and Crows can't get to the thing, but uh, the guy with a foot injury, uh, Van, he goes and attempts and opens the thing, and, but he gets attacked, and he dies, though, but all the air has been laying on the ship, and the creature's like, we're gonna try his breath, breathing, like, getting lower and lower as he's, as he's, as he's getting suffocated, you know, and eventually he dies, you know. And then well, and then uh, back on Earth, you know, well, uh, like in Washington, you know, um, like like they're like in the conference room or thing, you know, where the where the the guy gets telling the message to like um to like um I guess the news people I guess you know and tells them out of the nineteen men and women on on Mars, six will return, you know, and tell them that they told them that it was. Um, the Crothers, he did not murder those people. It was an alien that did that, you know. As they le as they left as they left Mars, you know, and they said another another name another name for Mars is death. And that's it, you know. So yeah, it's 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 not that it's not that basically that long of a film, you know, for me to talk about, you know. It's just a, just a straightforward, simple plot, you know. And especially for the nineteen fifty eight, you know, the look of the creature, like like that, you know, the suit and everything looked. From the 1950, from 1950, I think it looked very well done, you know. And it wasn't that it wasn't um, that big of expensive. It's just you know, see like a, a like a miniature spaceship just going through space, you know. So especially I like how how the how outer space. You hear whenever you see the spaceship flying through space, you hear that noise. You know that sound. You know, it's supposed to indicate how space sounds like. You know, <laughs> but. Um, I enjoy the film. I like I enjoy I like the characters. I especially like um the creature uh it you know played by Ray Cor Corrigan Corrigan that was how his late his name is you know he the guy who played it he did he did a good job you know um the cast members did a good job as well you know uh acting the 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 acting the the atmosphere the pre the premise of the film I enjoyed you know. Like I said, this is this became an inspiration for the making of Alien, you know. So there, there, there's, there's where credited is due, you know. Without this film, there should, there would be no Alien, you know, basically. So yeah, so that's, that's my um. So starting up with um, for the month of October, you know, I view uh, I would say a good classic original um space horror science fiction film, you know. So yeah, that's uh my review for it, the Terror from Beyond Space. If you haven't seen it. Go check it out. You have go check it out. You know, um, of course, like I said, you want the kills. Like I said, there's only there's only been like a few kills. You know, and they're not much. All you see is like mostly off-screen kills. You know, or the creature shadow on the on the walls doing this. You know, like I said, it's an old film. You know, they didn't have they don't have they don't do kills like that back then than they do up today. You know, so so I enjoy it. I would say I would put it as a good classic suspense or. a a uh, horror science fiction film, monster film, you know, from, from this time, you know, it did a really good job, you know, so I enjoyed it. So that's my review, and I will get this on DVD one day, so that's my review for It, the Terror from Beyond Space. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay tuned for the next, um, movie review. Later.